Okay, it's all about preparation, whether it's catching muskies or handling muskies. The problem is a lot of people don't pay enough attention to the handling part, so be prepared. Understand all of the tools that you need. Make sure you have them. In this Lakewood box here, I've actually got three sets along those pliers. I've got two sets of bolt cutters, two different types of jaw spreaders, and split ring pliers to replace hooks that I may need to cut later. And then the other thing that's real important is getting the proper hold, knowing the hold if pictures are an important part of what you want to do out there, which is the case for most people. I've got a beat up old replica mount here that's seen some better days. I keep using it for demonstrations. I broke its fin again, but here's the important thing, the most common hold, the gill hold. There's three gill arches in here. You want to keep your hands and fingers out of those. But this is the way to get the best hold. So this is the gill plate right here. Whichever hand you're most comfortable with, you're sliding the forefinger up in there. You're holding it against the gill plate and you're, and you're sliding. And it's not as easy with a mount like this, but you'll literally just come to a stop there. And then you take your thumb on that hand and you kind of put it in that natural notch here on this muskie. And that's that's the best hold. Usually that thumb is going to really make the fish calm down, not always, but generally. And then now this fish was in the net here, over the side of the boat in the water horizontal. You get this hold as you lift up as quickly as possible. When lifting, your other hand should go underneath the fish and support the weight. A horizontal hold is the best hold, the most natural way for the fish and the best hold to support the fish. You can lean a little bit like this, but try and concentrate on that basically horizontal hold with the fish. And then one other thing you can try and do is uh, doing a tail hold. So that fish is laying in the water again, down in the net, and you're literally just grabbing the fish and getting a really good grip on the tail like this. And it's a little easier with smaller fish, but you literally should be able to get your other hand down support the weight of that fish and come around and do a nice little shot like this and a lot of times that'll work real well with both of these holds i always tell people close to the edge of the boat they don't always cooperate all the time some cooperate just fine but you know you can generally feel them tensing up if they're going to go with either hold it, especially if you've already got pictures, the absolute best thing to do is just chuck that fish in the water. It may not be graceful. With this hold, you can probably dive in. Try and make them go head first if you can. But if they're going to thrash, rather than risk any tearing or any damage to the fish, you've already got a picture, just, just chuck them in. It's not pretty, but it's the best thing for the fish.